Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria. This is Victoria's Makeup. Um, I love makeup, I love fashion, I love knitting, I love anything that goes into making a unique and beautiful look. Um, and I want to help you create a beautiful and unique look for you that suits you. Does that make sense? It probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to my channel. And here's what we've got going on for today. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, I have a beautiful backdrop up, thanks to my awesome boyfriend, love him. He put a tension cord up so I could have an Hana background behind me because the focus in the last two videos weren't that great and I am trying to make this the best YouTube channel and videos that I possibly can. I'm still learning, still trying to get the hang of it. so. Here we are <laughs> in the, I think it's like the third video, makeup video maybe, I filmed in this room, but now we have a backdrop, so I'm hoping it makes it like ten times better than it was before. We'll be working with the Adapts Cosmetics, uh, Nina Hydrin, um palette, it is a beautiful palette, it is mostly duochromes and glitters, um, and other single chromes as well so it is a wonderful palette it has two neutrals uh, the first one being this one right here and the second being this one right here both are a brown kind of a, a goth not a goth um, kind of a grunge feel to them in color which is kind of what I went for with right up here so we're going to get into today's look and hopefully how this how the this palette works um I did get this palette I did get this palette from makeup media mama uh, the Canadian group only it is only for Canadians I won it in a game she has awesome games awesome prizes weekly makeup looks that you can enter your weekly favorite weekly makeup and hopefully en be entered to win a small makeup palette for that week. Um, she has YouTube videos that she shares on there from tutorials to information reviews, what's coming up next, and so much more. Uh, Kelly is the found or is the content creator for that page. Um, she does just an awesome job getting the newest stuff in, trying stuff out. Um, I really love supporting her, so thank you, Kelly. I will be getting another palette in the mail. This one broke the internet, though, so let's get. It. So I'm hoping that video is going to be just knock your socks off, awesome. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to stay till the end guys because there are some new products that I've been using and I am so excited to review them with you. Hey guys, so um, like I said in earlier, we are back. We have a new background up here thanks to my wonderful boyfriend. It is just, it's awesome. I love it. Um, we are going to be getting into the Adapt makeup palette today. It is the Nina Hydrin one, and it is a absolutely gorgeous palette. So that is our palette that we will be working with today. I'm going to start off by using a base for my eyeshadow. Um, and we will go from there. So 
So I will be using the white, a white base today. So this one right here, and as well as a darker base as well. So we're going to start off with the dark base. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and then I'll come back and show you what I did. Actually, no, I'll do it on camera. I think I'll do it on camera today. So we're going to take this brush right here. It's a flat angled brush or it's just a flat brush actually. It's like a under the eye smudge brush. I'm going to prime above my crease first. Now I have swatched this palette already. I have not done any eyeshadows with it, so this is going to be a first time try of using this eyeshadow palette. It is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I've been waiting to do this video so that I can use it and try it out with you guys officially. Um, everything else in this video, like I said, is a review. Um, I like to try out the makeup first before I even review it with you guys or go over with with you guys. Cause I may not even like it. I may try it and not like it and decide, well, you know what, it's not worth your guys' time to watch if I don't like it. But I'm not going to use it again. I'm not going to... Unless it's really bad or doesn't work with, like, unless it's really bad, it probably just isn't working with my skin or I'm not using it right or something and I'll figure it out later. Um, I will in the future hopefully be doing a makeup I didn't like video, but until then, I want to do makeup that I like, makeup that I can give to you guys to, or pass on the knowledge of the makeup to you and how it works. Okay, so we got that. And there's these two beautiful shades and I really, I can't tell which one I want. So these are the matte shades that I'm gonna be going into. Um, this one right up here. And then this one as well. And they don't really have names, I guess. They're like ACM, um, 32 and ACM 31. So we're going to be going into these probably starting out with let's just swatch them right away to double check. So what is a cooler shade? One is a bit of a warmer shade. And I like both. I'm thinking we're going to go with this one down here though. So I'm going to use an angled brush right now just to dip into that warmer color. I'm going to put it along the crease right above. I'm not too sure honestly which shades I was more looking forward to using in this palette opposed to <laughs> Because I love the mattes, I love the shimmers, like, I honestly can't tell which one I wanted to try more. Okay. Bear with me, it doesn't look that great right now, but we're going to blend it out. So we're going to go in there with our fluffy blender brush, and just blend that out. Warm it up just a smidge more with that other color. Okay, so now we're going to go back in and we're going to go in with the white. White. And I'm going to do like a cut crease right on my hand. So we're just going to go in there.
Okay, so I want to do like a greeny blue, one of the greeny blue shades on the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with my green base and cut it in right there. Do the same to the other eye. It's kind of an overcast day here today, so <laughs> noticing with the window that it'll brighten and then it'll go dark or brighten and go dark. So I'm going to fix that right now so that I don't have that happening. Hopefully, you guys still see me? Hopefully that works. Yeah, that seems to look a lot better. So, I'm going to be doing a couple of color, two colors today, probably. Yeah, the AC, uh, ACI 19 and the ACI 24. Probably along with just a smidgen of the Nigeria right here as well, just to get it in there because it is the name of the palette that we are working with. I'm just going to swatch them. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? It would be much easier if I could, like, actually. Okay, so this is the first shade. And then the second shade, and the third shade. So kind of in that bluey, green, purple family, especially the ACI24. So we're going to go in with the Nina right now, and we're just going to put a little bit right there. So I don't want a lot of it in there, but I do want, definitely want some in there. I want it blending up right in there. It's giving off beautiful looks, but I'm going to try putting a uh, setting spray on my brush and seeing if that makes a difference in how it looks on the other eye. Let's just spray it a little. So we sprayed our brush with the setting spray and we're going to go back into that Nina Hydrin and it's picking up more glitter already if you can see that. Definitely a lot more lip shit auto on there and glimmer. Okay, we are going to move on to the we are going to move on to the ACI 19 right there. We're going to first put it down with no setting spray on there. And then we're going to put the setting spray on the brush and see how it works. So it definitely picks up more with the setting spray on. And it puts down a lot more product that way as well. So if you can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. So the other thing that I just realized I didn't do, I didn't put a glitter primer on. So we're going to do that on the outer corners. So we're going to put our glitter primer on, see if this makes a difference. So we've tried two ways of doing it, just primer, setting spray, and eyeshadow. We're going to do the primer, the, eyeshadow, the glitter primer, and then setting spray and uh, eyeshadow. So let's do that. A little there. Clean off 
brush because that is one of the things with the glitter primer I find it that will take off some color or move some color around where you put it at least that's the case with the primer that I'm using <laughs> not all glitter primers are the same people just to let you know but this is the one that I use I haven't gotten any others so I mean, I'm still just starting off my channel so I'm hoping in the future I'll be able to play with more of the setting powders, powders uh, eye primers, face primers, that kind of thing. But until then, I work with what I've got, what I can afford, <laughs> and with what I need. So if I need a glitter primer, I'm going to get a glitter primer. And that'll be the only glitter primer I use until I can afford to get more and try out other things. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the ACI 24. So this is just picking it up without spraying it. We're not going to spray it just to get some more product on our brush. And so it doesn't fall off the brush as much. See? And that is a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, I'm going to take a small little blending brush right here. I'm going to blend it out. And then I will go back. I'll come. Yeah, let's blend, start by blending it out. Sorry. I did have this video all planned. I had this look in my eye or in my head of what I was going to create, which really isn't that far off. I just wasn't expecting this much glitter and awesomeness to be coming off of it. So we're just gonna do up the edges here. Clean up the edges. Blend them out. And we're gonna go back in with the ACM32. So this warm shade right up here that we used earlier right here. And we're going to go back and put that right above there. Okay, and we're going to put that same color that we just used and we're going to put it under the eye. Actually, let's use our flat brush to do that. So I'm just putting in a bit of a wing to sharpen it up and make the outside just a little deeper. And then we're going to go back in with our flush, fluffy brush right here for blending again. I'm going to blend just a little more. I'm going to find a light transition shade to go up here to brighten it up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I brightened it up right up here. We're going to go in and, and clean up the under eye right away. I didn't put any concealer there, but I want to, so let's do that. We're going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. See how much better that looks? Made all the difference. Seriously. Okay, same with this eye. Okay, so the eyes are done, and I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup. When I come back, we are going to go over reviews of some new makeup that I've used in the past week. Some new me makeup. I like to use my makeup first before I do a review on it, so that way I can be confident telling you what my thoughts are on it. We're also going to go over this palette and see the finished look when I come back. Okay, I'm back. I have the rest of my makeup done, everything. Um, yeah, so review. So first of all, final thoughts on first time trying the Adapt Cosmetics palette. 
beautiful beautiful palette absolutely gorgeous um I don't know if I'd ever be able to do it justice but I'm sure gonna try I love how it turned out it is actually really really beautiful I absolutely love it um if you need glitter whatever duochromes shimmers this formula is amazing it doesn't have a lot of fallout um, the case absolutely stunning as well it's like a faux leather kind of feel to it, it has the name of it right written right there it is just like it even has that kind of a duo duo kind of color to it kind of a pinky purple sometimes blue and it's just gorgeous stunning stunning work love this stuff definitely will be investing my money into more of these palettes just not right now <laughs> so yeah all in all it was really good to work with it there wasn't a lot of fallout the colors stayed um so I did use the glitter primer on the outer corner and we didn't use any on the inner and it still like it still looks the same like same boldness same technique um I would suggest using a setting spray on your um eyeshadow brush beforehand before you even dip it into the product and it'll pick up a lot more product it'll just be better off in general um now I guess we'll see how long it stays or if it creases I don't think it's going to crease and like the mats that we used beautiful um a little goes a long way though like tried doing the cut crease that you said uh, you guys saw and it didn't exactly turn out according to what I wanted but at the same time I think it turned out even better than what I originally thought and planned for it so I'm really happy about that um I did get a few new products that I've been using on my face recently I got a so my acne it was really bad about two four weeks ago and it was getting to the point where okay, I have to do something. And I was able to pick up a acne treatment which I've been using, which has been helping. But the other thing that's been helping is this Clinique Acne Solution Liquid Makeup. So I've been using this instead of my regular cover up or regular foundation. Um and it's just, it's been really good. It says on the back, cleanse skin thoroughly before applying product. Apply in the morning and reapply as needed. Using liberal, liberally on affected areas or as directed by a healthcare practitioner. So it is going to help with your acne. I'm going to be using it probably for <laughs> all of the summer. So I'm hoping that I notice even more of a difference. And... I'll let you guys know, but right now I really like it. It's a nice lightweight foundation and it's, it doesn't have a lot of shades so that's the only problem. So the one that I got is in Alabaster. Um, what is it? Fresh Alabaster. So VFN or CN10 is the Alabaster color. Oh yeah, so C CN10 is the alabaster color that they're now using. So that's the color for this. And it is just, it's wonderful. I, I really do like it. It's really nice. It doesn't move around a lot. Um, I have been applying it with a sponge rather than a brush because it goes on better, I find, as well as hiding the redness makes it easier, I guess. Uh, the other thing that I invested my money in was a, the new Lancome Mascara. If you guys have seen the commercial ads for this, Zendaya is the rep for it. So this is the La Eight Hypnos. I am wearing it right now, as you can see, the mascara. So this is, I have tried Lancome Mascara before. Um, it was the Doll Mascara. I believe. I don't have it anymore so I can't reference it. But 
I love the brush, I love the formula, and when I got the, so when I saw this, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to invest my money, I need new mascara anyways, and it also works as a serum, they do have a serum built into it to help maintain your lash health and growth, I believe, if I have to go back and look at that, but basically to maintain your lashes so they're not falling out as much with mascara. The other thing though is that I find is it is so lightweight, like crazy lightweight. Uh, the first day that I used it, I put it on and my eye was itchy and I for literally forgot that I was wearing mascara because it is so lightweight. It doesn't feel like mascara is on my eyelashes at all. They are beautiful, they are long, they are luscious. I could put another two coats of mascara on and it'd still be okay. So that is what I've been using lately for mascara. It is a wonderful mascara. Um, I've also gone a little lazy with my eyebrows lately. So I do have a NYX Micro Pencil Auburn Pencil. Uh, eyebrow pencil that I use, but it was taking a really long time to do my eyebrows, so I found this. It is also NYX by NYX. It is the NYX Fill and Flush, or Fill and Fluff, sorry, Fill and Fluff um, eyebrow pencil. Uh, so on one side, uh, once I get it. So this is what it go, what it looks like on the other side. Where is this brush thing? I'm trying to focus in on it. It's not wanting to. Anyways, this is a little brush, kind of like a little mini kind of kabuki brush for your to fluff out your eyebrows, and it works really well. It is a little messy, so I do it before my mascara. I do, I mean, <laughs> I do it before my foundation, so that I can clean it up, then put foundation on, and everything, and it's all good. But it does work. It's a lot faster. I love it. It's still, it's not burned shade. It's beautiful. I, it's just great, really. <laughs> um, what else can I? tell you guys uh, a few updates so this month <gasps> okay so a few updates <laughs> this month I get to go see I have to go see a nose specialist in a local city because we don't have them where we live and hopefully I will be hearing more back from a pain clinic that I was referred to I got all my paperwork sent there um, and I'm really, I'm hoping also to get a package in the mail for making a new video as well. It's been a really hectic beginning of the month really. So, and then at the end of the month, we have family coming up. And I am absolutely so excited for that. It is going to be amazing. So my boyfriend's in-laws are coming up and I'm really, really, really excited about it. It's just it's amazing. I'm, I'm so excited because I haven't met them, the side of his family yet, so I'm pretty Have a wonderful day, guys. Uh, stay as beautiful and unique as you already are, and don't let anyone block your light. Have a good day, you guys. And don't forget, also, subscribe, comment, and ring that notification bell for more content in the future. Bye.